Good morning. It is Monday, March 29th. Um, so it's about 10.30. I woke up pretty early this morning. I woke up at around 6 and then I was just working on a few things. I'm finalizing my taxes and submitting them today. And then I ordered more sticker paper from online labels, which is so expensive. But um, I ordered the paper that I was going to use for the pre-order stickers. I went with a weatherproof mat. I really like that and I think others will too. So I needed to order that um, for the pre-order stickers. And then um, so I ordered another thing which I'll talk about in a sec but I wanted to mention I guess this is the first clip in this vlog that's going to be an introduction because the rest of the clips that I've taken for the last couple days uh, especially over the weekend were just painting I don't even know if I filmed that much but that's all I have been doing since the since I posted the last vlog is just painting comics painting pages for Shades of Fear and also trying to work on the comic that I want to debut for Van Calf. Um, and today I printed out some pages to start the comic I want for short box. And for TCAF, um, uh, I'll probably go with a shorter comic because by the time TCAF comes around, I'll have my comic from Van Calf. And then TCAF, I'll have, I, I want something new. So I'm either going to go with a very short comic or a zine. I haven't really decided yet or picked through some of the ideas that I've written down for myself um, but I know that the short box comic is going to be more than 50 pages because that's the story I have so yeah my face is really swollen today and I think it's because my period is coming up not funny how I can tell I, I swell more before that and uh, you can just you can just tell <laughs> I also moved around my room a little bit so behind me you can see my drawing table um, just like right up to the side of that like corner there of the room so that's going to be the table I'm going to pack my pre-orders and I even have my camera set up I don't think I can stream a pre-order I, I mean um an order packing stream would be kind of cool but my internet is so horrible and I think that's I've, if you've been following me for a while I've always wanted to stream I wanted to have a regular streaming schedule because I just like it but because my internet here is so horrible even in the previous apartment that we lived in um, I just couldn't do it it was just impossible um, I couldn't hold a steady stream with good quality it would always cut out and I would just be really really frustrated so I just gave up on that dream but I'm gonna film some clips over there when I'm packing the, the sticker orders and uh, so at this point it's uh, there's only like a couple days left at, I, I guess it's only until Friday midnight that the pre-orders are gonna be open so by the time that you're watching this vlog there is probably a couple days left because I'll be posting this on Wednesday um, so there's only a couple days left to get the sticker pre-order, sticker book pre-orders because if you get the pre-order you get the two extra freebie stickers and that print that I worked on. So yeah, um, that's why it's cool if you get the pre-orders because you get some extra stuff that you wouldn't otherwise get. Um, but yeah, the last day is on Friday midnight, so April the 1st at midnight. That's the last day and so far I have, I haven't checked in a bit but I think I'm up to about 82 or 83 uh, sticker book pre-orders which is more than I expected. I was expecting maybe 
like I said earlier, I was expecting to really like get a chunk eaten out of me in terms of shipping and in terms of just how much the sticker books cost. But I wanted to open up pre-orders to help alleviate any cost, even if it's just like 30 pre-orders made. There's a little bit of money there for me to help with just in terms of just paying off my credit card. When I... So yeah, um, so it's definitely more than I expected. I was expecting maybe about 30 pre-orders. So 80 plus is above and beyond so thank you so much if you are part of that pre-order group um, I really really appreciate it so I'm really quite excited for the sticker books to come in and um, I haven't really mentioned this I've only mentioned this on the art discord but I did get shipping notifications for the sticker books they're all printed and they're they're at this point making their way to me I already received a tracking number for them they just had to clear customs and once they clear customs um, the tracking will get updated more frequently because right now I think they're either at customs or They're probably at customs now not on their way from China. So they probably made the journey They just have to get cleared. So by the time they get cleared, I'll get more up-to-date tracking information So yeah, pretty exciting. Um, I did put on the pre-orders that I would pack everything up by June but at this point maybe earlier so people are going to be getting them quite early um, so a lot of stuff that I need to to prep for. That's why I bought the sticker paper so I can start cutting up stickers because I'm going to be cutting them. I looked up places where I could get, you know, the stickers done, die cut professionally. But it's just way, way, way too expensive for me to do that even though I would have leftover stock for store stuff. Store stuff and bank calf tabling and tea calf tabling, I'll probably have leftovers. But um, a lot of expenses are coming up because today, again, I'm finalizing my taxes and I have taxes I owe to the government. So I have to make sure I have budget to pay that off because I like paying off anything ASAP. So um, I think I need about like $2,000 to pay that off right away. So I need some money in my accounts to just pay that off right away. And if not, I just get really stressed out about it. Um, big expenses too is i'm going to vancouver in may so my boyfriend and i he's coming with me <laughs> um we booked flights to vancouver in may because van vancaf is going to be in may on may 21st and 22nd so we're going to be leaving on the 18th and coming back the next week so the 26th um or technically we're leaving on the 25th and then our flight comes into toronto on the 26th so I will be in Vancouver. It's gonna be so exciting. Um, we're, my boyfriend's coming with me because he's like, he's gonna treat it as a vacation. And so that's what we did last time. He just treated it as a vacation last time he went there for VanCalf. So last time I was there was 2017, I believe. I don't exactly remember, but it was a good time. Lots of food was eaten, eaten and there, there are a couple of restaurants there that we'd like to try again. I saw Bailey like for the first time ever there. Well, I guess that's the first and last time. I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if I'll see her again, but that was really fun and cool. And the con was really successful. I made more money there than I thought. Uh, so that was really cool. Uh, the only issue is because our flights are, we tried to get the cheapest flights ever. Uh, I have to pay for baggage. So a checked bag, which is gonna be a problem because we have only one checked bag so I have to fit all my clothes and all my con stuff and my boyfriend's clothes in this huge bag like huge suitcase it's big but there's also a weight limit so I'm pretty worried about that I think the last time we flew to Vancouver with my stuff I didn't have I didn't end up checking a bag I just used my suitcase and that was enough but I think that was an Air Canada flight so it was different we were allowed one check bag but the flight because it's cheaper they really rake you for extra costs like that so um yeah i've been talking for six minutes i hope this is okay but i'm trying to like update you guys about what's going on so what else oh another big update is i um i got really really hyped and i bought some acrylic charms to sell for my store and possibly the van the the cons coming up I didn't order very much because they were expensive <laughs> obviously i only ordered 40 so but two different designs so 21 design 20 the other design 
of the slime like the boba slime and the cappuccino slime i'm gonna make them also those are gonna be acrylic charms with um, epoxy glitter i've never done them before but i really wanted to try it out and i don't know if i'm gonna be making them again but um because of uh the costs racking up with all the cons coming up and just the the expenses of the sticker book i'm going to do a huge shop update i guess um it'll be, probably be in mid -May, mid april mid may <laughs> mid april yeah mid april or mid or late april it's gonna be a big shop update with acrylic charms my sticker books uh a bunch of new stickers and i'm going to be i'm creating stock for my um sticker sets like the the bakery sticker sets i'm gonna be restocking kevin and mam to sticker sets so it's basically that's it um so just watch out for that big shop update if you are interested in that but that's gonna be happening in mid april late april so yeah okay that's it for my updates um i'm i'm kind of worried about vlog footage this week just because i'll be painting a lot of things that i can't really show you so yeah I made eye contact with myself on the camera for a second, kind of dissociated for a bit. But <laughs> okay, I'll check with you guys uh, later. All right, it's 11 now. I haven't started on comics yet because I kind of wanted to just uh, reset before I work on comics uh, that are for other people. It's a little bit more, um, I feel a little bit more intimidated by that. So I'm just gonna chill and do work on my own thing for an hour or two and then move on to that i've dedicated most of the, my day to that so anyway let me just show you in a sec what i'm doing here I'm almost done i just have to put a little bit more um details i'm actually uh, i'm working on the sticker set for april so this is going to be the theme, and then I have to figure out if I want to do a print or a button this time. We shall see. Okay, I don't want to keep working on this and ruin it further, or ruin it, so. Okay, so I'm working on the new stickers for April, and because April is my birthday month, I wanted to create something special for it, and so I decided to do uh, famous paintings Famous paintings, oh wait, my favorite famous paintings. <laughs> so this is the kiss, obviously. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but it's the kiss by Gustav Klimt. And because this one was so small, I decided to make it a little bit bigger so I can have more to work with. I'll show you guys some zoom-ins after, but this is the kiss. So obviously it's not the same uh, carbon copy of the painting itself it's just inspired by kind of like a fan art so the kiss by gustav klimt is one of them one of my favorite paintings i even have it back here i even bought a poster of it and my poster is somewhere but i have this scarf behind me that i got from my brother for one christmas uh the next one here is sunflowers by van gogh uh, i don't actually know if the painting is called sunflowers but it is by van gogh totally not the same thing but same idea the same kind of vase and some of the wilted sunflowers. Um, uh, this one is famous. I bet you can tell what this one is. This is a painting by Goya. So Saturn devouring his sun, I believe it's what it is what it's called. Definitely lighter than the original painting, but this is my rendition of it. Okay, and then I love Dolly. I, I drawing the Dolly stuff. There's another Dolly painting in here. I remember how much I love dolly paintings or salvador dolly so these are the melting clocks so just the like melting clocks in one of his paintings and another dolly illustrate painting that i really love is this part of that painting i don't know what it's called but i remember doing a report on this when i was in elementary school uh, the report required us to go to the library and actually find books and uh, we can do it on art or something so i picked art and this is when i discovered salvador dolly uh, because there was a book in the library of his a lot of his paintings and it was a huge book and I saw this egg guy coming out I, Again, I don't remember the name of the painting, but this is only one section of that painting I did a report on this painting and I really really liked it um, Yeah, so it's really surreal his his stuff is very surreal. I think it's called Dolly He even has his own kind of like 
you know, movement, but I think that's where my love for The Strange came from, is just exposure to his work. So that's the guy coming out of an, of an egg. I really also love, this is um, from the painting too, like this detail of like this red thing coming out of the egg, just like this little drop. And there's supposed to be continents on each side, and then there's an, a woman on one side, but I just decided to go with the egg man because I love it. Um, this is a painting by Frida Kahlo, or one of her paintings, or one part of her paintings. I don't know what it's called, but I really love the imagery, so that's that. And then this is just a fun one. <laughs> so it's the scream guy and the apple guy. I don't know what the apple drawing painting is called, but it's the scream. And they're just being buddies, hanging out. So yeah, um, I'm going to scan these and print them and see how they look like as a sticker set so I can post them for April because that's when I announce the reward. So yeah, okay, let me show you some awkward, quiet zoom-ins. <laughs> I'm watching Tuna's vlog while I paint. Let's jump. Andy dandy sprayer. Oh, he must be so bored of this view. Um, once I take a break, or if I finish, I'm planning to finish at least two pages today, if not three. I give myself those stipulations. Um, I'd like to make like a little kind of tally sheet that shows, or a calendar slash tally sheet that shows how many pages I have left to do of the comics that I'm planning to do. <laughs> Especially this one because uh, somebody is waiting for this. And it's not just, you know, personal project. Although the other comics, technically Van Caff and, uh, what do you call it, uh, T Caff are waiting for it and short box, so. And I haven't really released a comic in a long time that is like nice, you know, and packaged up, so because of the whole burnout thing with COVID, but hopefully we're getting back into it. Replacing water is my most dreaded chore because I constantly need to do it or else, you know, your colors will be tainted with whatever this water is. I usually have two tins. Um, uh, maybe I should do that. I don't know where the other one went. I guess like when I put it away, it's somewhere, but I hate changing the water. I don't know if it'll help if I have a bigger tub, but I like having the small one so I don't like hit it because I'm really clumsy and I'll probably hit it. So having a small one avoids that. Bottom is up. Need another pretzel? No, I don't need another pretzel. You, you gotta get re chocolate and you're out of chocolate. I am out of chocolate. But you need to like eat it slower maybe? <laughs> or, or buy more, like I've been asking you? That's a good idea. That's a smart idea too. No, on the, this. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think they should be here by Thursday because I put a tweet out last night about having only four left and I woke up with These are the pages so far for Sheets of Fear, so getting there. Well, not really. I'm. I'm almost halfway, but I've been crushing them under uh, pads of watercolor just to flatten them out. Pads of watercolor in a book. I've cleaned.
cleared up my desk, so let's switch to something else. Great, so I've scanned the uh, paintings onto Photoshop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean them up and set them as um, set them up on a page to cut as stickers and think of a title, so uh, I can get this done really quickly, so why not cross it off my list?